Hello everyone, in this video we'll see some real use of design patterns in the Spring framework. So the first design pattern that we'll be seeing today is the singleton pattern. So right here I have this class that I called cat and when I add this component class uh, it means that this is gonna be a Spring bin which means it's gonna be created by the Spring IOC. And by default uh, spring gonna create a singleton so this is gonna be a singleton that I can use that I can use it whenever I want so right here I have two controllers uh, first controller used the cat uh, by using auto wired so we will inject in the instance that was created by the IOC and I will just return this method meow and I'll print uh, I'll print uh, the instance and I'll do the same thing in the controller too so let me run the server and we'll see that in the both in the two case or in the two controller we will be having the same instance right and this is the principle of singleton so we only have one instance in the spring uh, container so the server is run uh, let me go to localhost uh c1 there we go so right here, so this is the first instance, and if you go to the second endpoint, C2, we have the same instance. So the same instance, uh, we have it both on controller 1 and controller 2, because as I said before, uh, the default uh, creation of the spring bean is based on singleton. So we have only one instance. So this is the use of the singleton design pattern in spring framework. And by the way, we can change this if we want, for example, we no longer want uh, a singleton, we can use uh, another scope, which is the prototype scope. So by the way, uh, what we mean by prototype, it means that we will have new instances whenever we are using this CAD uh, class. So right here we will have in, uh, a new instance, and right here we will have in a new instance. Now it's gonna be the same, so it's literally the opposite of singleton. So let me stop and rerun the server, and we will check this. Okay, right, so we have the servers running. If we go to C1, controller 1, uh, we have this. So this is the instance that we have right here. And if we go to controller 2, we have a different instance. So prototype means that we are having a new instance for each uh, use of the class. So right here, this is the use of singleton design pattern in Spring Framework. It used with the Spring Bean. Is it the default scope of, of uh, of the spring beans. Now the second design pattern that we'll be seeing is the front controller pattern. So what we have, so if I go to the console to see how our application is run, we can see right here we have initializing spring dispatcher servlet. So when we send an HTTP request, for example, when I send this HTTP request, it doesn't go directly to our controller. Instead it goes to the dispatcher servlet and then this dispatcher servlet send the request to the corresponding controller. So this is the front controller pattern implemented in the Spring framework. So this is the second uh, design pattern that we have in Spring. Another, uh, another design pattern that we have in Spring is the factory method. And we will see in this uh, factory method uh, right here. So I'll just comment, I no longer want the server to be one, but this time, I'll have the application context. And if you guys know about the application context, it's simply the container of all the beans. So when whenever I create a new bean, for example, when I create this, let me just remove this scope. I want it to be a single font. So whenever I create a new spring bean, the instance is put in this context. So this is the context and I can get any bean. So I can use a method called get bean to get all uh, the beans that were created by the spring I use and if we go to application context we can see that application context extends listable bean factory and this listable bean factory extends bean factory so this is the factory and right here we see the implementation of the uh, factory method design pattern we have this get bean uh, method that simply return uh, what we ask for which is the bean we want the instance to be returned to us 
So right here, I can just, for example, use application context, get bean, and I give it the class. For example, I want the instance that was created uh, right here in this cut by using this component annotation. And I'll use the meow uh, method. So if I run, it should uh, return meow in the console in the console because I print the return in the console. So let me see. There we go. So right here we have meow. And by the way, we can do the same thing for all the spring bin that we have. For example, I have another spring bin right here, this dog uh, spring bin that I add this component, it says spring bin. So I can just use same thing, application dot context dot get bean so this is a factory method by the way so this is why we implemented the factory method we pass in the class that we want and we call the method sound so we have the instance that was created for us by spring thank you spring for creating uh, the instance for us and this method return bark 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 <laughs> so let me print this in the console will be barking in the console and let me execute and it should return meow and bark 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 oh. oh god okay there we go so we have meow and bark 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 so this is basically the implementation of spring or spring implement using the factory method uh, the factory method uh, design pattern right so now we'll see uh, another design pattern that used on Spring, and this third or this fourth uh, design pattern is called template method. So this template method is simply when we have a lot of code, a lot of boilerplate that repeated everywhere, and we do not want to write it every time we use something. We just write it in a template uh, in a template class. So the example I'll be giving you today is the GDBC template. So GDBC template. There we go. So if we go to the code of this GGBC template, we will find in a lot of boilerplate that uh, we use it to basically create a GGBC connection. So we want when we want to do a connection be between a Java application and, a, for example, a MySQL uh, database, we do a lot of boilerplate. For example, we get the connection, we, we establish connection, and we close it at the end. So this is a lot of boilerplate. So instead of each time writing the same code, we just put it in a template class and that's it. This is simply the implementation of the template design pattern in Java, in Spring specifically. But it's a little bit different than the definition of template method, but uh, at the end uh, it's the same uh, concept, that we no longer want a lot of boilerplate in our application, instead we put it on a template class. And that's it, this is the four uh, design pattern that are used in Spring. I think, I believe there are other uh, design patterns that are used in Spring, but this is the four that I'll talk about uh, in this video. The single stone, front controller, factory method, and template. And just a warning, there is slight difference than the exact definition of this design pattern in books, for example, and the Spring uh, implementation of them. But overall, it's uh, basically the same. So thank you for watching. and. Bye.